uh, about my uh, Panther project based on the urging of Rachel. Thanks, thanks, Rachel, for coming up with a great idea and making me actually, shaming me into making a video. It's not gonna be very good. But um, we're down here, Meadow Lake Airport, east of Colorado Springs to start with. Just wanna mention how uh, I selected the, the Panther as my next project. This is my first project, the Pete and Paul, with a Corvair in it, Corvair engine. And uh, I had this thing running and uh, debated whether to go with the fifth bearing. And I heard that Dan had come out, invented the uh, his fifth bearing, which didn't require tearing the engine down. Here it is here, got 200 hours on it, no leaks, working perfectly. Um, not a mechanic or a machinist was able to actually install it, no problems. I was just so impressed with the design of this and uh, the precision, the, the attention to detail and the support I got from uh, from Dan and Rachel that uh, when the Panther came out, uh, as good looking as it was, being aerobatic, folding wings, um, and all that, uh, I didn't have to wait for several hundred uh, builders to complete one to make a decision, even though there was only one flying at the time, the prototype. Uh, I had no problem selecting the uh, Panther for my next project. Um, Oh, by the way, when I first met Dan, it was kind of funny. I was at, down at Corvair College, east of uh, Daytona Beach. And this guy, this really nice looking uh, Sonics comes flying over the airport, does an aileron roll, comes in and lands, and out comes Dan. And I remember I uh, looked in the instrument panel on that thing. All there was was a G meter and a couple switches. And I think, now here's a guy, not a typical pilot, not a typical home builder or anything. And uh, I was right. So anyhow, I'm gonna go fly this thing for a little while. It's a nice morning down here. And then uh, meet back up at my uh, garage up at Castle Rock uh, to look at the Panther. Hello, Rick Holland again in Castle Rock, Colorado. Um, again, looking, I'll we'll take a look at my uh, Panther in my uh, garage here, Panther number 32. I'll just walk around it. It's kind of in the final assembly stage, sort of, except for the canopy. <clears throat> it's a uh, tail dragger and uh, flush rivets. Got most all the skins uh, done. They're uh, uh, dimpled and everything. Most of the controls in. Seat. Finished the back. Did the uh, the extra panels in the baggage compartment back there. Got all my dimpling in on the uh, <clears throat> on the steel the steel tubing on the on the frame for the dimpled skins. Let's see. Tail yeah, pretty much done. I'm just adding the, the fiberglass tips on. So it's my first video I've ever made, so I don't know how I'm presenting all this stuff, but hope you can kind of see it. Um, one question, I don't know if uh, there's gonna be like any question and answer on the on these videos, but uh, one I have is, is uh, uh, securing the, um, the hinge pins. And uh, there's no way these hinge pins are going to go in or out without a drill, without spinning them. So uh, uh, anybody has any ideas? One thing I did on my Pete and Paul, I would drill right in the end here, right at the end, like a 16th inch hole, pull the pin back a little bit and put safety wire in there. That would secure one end of it. The question is how to secure the other end of the elevator hinge pin. So... Anyhow, um, just a, something I noticed, there's this uh, flange that uh, goes underneath the horizontal stabilizer. And uh, didn't see anything in the manual about installing it. Asked Dan about it, and he mentioned that you might want to wait and not even install it until, after you, until before paint, in case you have to adjust the angle of the horizontal stabilizer. So... Um, 
here's my uh, frame just <clears throat> starting to just think about getting the um, canopy going some two by fours and as far as the engine um, here's a my engine it's a, a b2a it's 160 horse uh, Lycoming got about 900 hours came uh, with a log book but uh, who knows what kind of surprises are inside and uh, this is my first attempt at uh, playing with a, a uh, aircraft engine I did the Corvair on the Pete and Paul, but that's not too similar. Came with a few things. Came with this honking uh, uh, starter, 17 over 17 pounds. The old uh, uh, fuel pump, which I'll replace with another one. The MA4, which I'll probably get another, a rebuilt version of this for it. And a couple Bendix mags with Impulse. I'll probably send those in and just have those rebuilt. Even came with a wire harness. I checked out. You guys have probably seen these before. A uh, a um, the fiber optic deal to uh, check the inside of a cylinder, cylinders and the valves. Just a couple hundred bucks. Plug it into your uh, with a USB port. Plug it into your uh, computer, and you could even video or take pictures of inside your cylinders. Um, they look good to me, but what the heck do I know? So, um, yeah, hoping 160 horse at uh, 9, 10,000 density altitude should be enough for the Panther. Um, so, what made you uh, choose the Panther as a project? Um, what I said before, uh, working with Dan on the uh, the fifth bearing on the Corvair, the service, and uh, of course the looks of the of the Panther itself, and the uh, just the engineering behind it. Um, choose the engine, talked about that, about my density altitude issues. Um, avionics, I'll show you the, as far as the avionics, haven't even cut out. I'm trying to wait, wait to the last second to get in, to buy in any, anything related to avionics since, um, they change so fast in the prices. Um, this is just a cut out of the, uh, size of a uh the, ten, the new 10 inch a grt sport 10 inch ephus so probably go with that looks like that'll fit and the eis from grt right that that uh trig uh t22 transponder and uh the trig uh was a tn72 gps and uh an antenna and that flight line comm radio so that's all i'm uh looking at right now i haven't owned any of these so i have no idea how they're gonna gonna work but i just heard trig makes good stuff uh, and i know people haven't are having good success with that com radio um what else you bet bef built before you saw the previous video with my uh, pete and paul scratch build uh, favorite part of the panther build i think i think anywhere where there's matched hole um on the tail pieces, the wings, the wing skins, the way it, it all went together so well. After going through a blog, somebody was building a uh, RV3. The uh, uh, the jigs that they had to make, uh, build a uh, metal airplane where you had to drill all your holes, holes was, uh, yeah, that was, that was a lot of work, a lot of additional work. What type of flying do you do? Um, usually just, just around the airport. I don't go too many places. With the airplane, I don't know. Maybe a, with a Pete and Paul going goes seventy mile an hour, um, you know, you're not going to want to go too many, too far. But with a with a plane like the Panther, maybe I'll change my mind, and start doing more uh, travel. But but the aerobatics I like, um, very mild aerobatics. Um, Panther build unique. I'm just following the manual, so I can't think of anything that's going to be unique on this thing. Um, uh, folding wings, uh, definitely going to have folding wings, uh, like it for transport. Uh, probably with a hanger, probably don't need it. I'm not, I'm not going to want to fold it up every time I use it or anything. Having to transport it, if I ever have an engine out out in the field, make it a lot easier to get it back to the airport. Um, and uh, not flying yet. What do you not like? Uh, nothing I don't like like the online manual and i really like the panther parties 
and Paul's mother's chocolate chip cookies at the Panther parties, especially. And it's something I was never expecting, um, those kind of things. Uh, what type of flying do you do? Um, how has the pandemic affected you? I'm, I'm actually building, working more on the airplane than I used to since you can't go anywhere. And uh, what are the project you worked on, the, the Pete and Paul? Um, and I almost forgot <clears throat> the wings and the wing tips. Storing those down here in the basement. They're, they're pretty much done other than attaching the uh, fuel tanks. The most fun part of, of the project, not, but it was, it was interesting. Leak check, no, no, no leak problems. And that's about it. So, so uh, there's my project and uh, thank you.